Uh, which are some of uh, the challenges that uh, you as a person and uh, from the young people that you interact with you feel that they are going through? Who would be seen as violent people and mm. I never understood why yeah. that when you find a group of young people, even if they are discussing, you know, sports, mm. Arsenal mm. versus Manchester, yeah. you know, our older parents might think maybe we are plotting Mm. Something violent, or mm. those are thugs, or those are, you know, <laughs> so because even the perception yeah. worked so much against us. Uh, of course, we were business oriented, but mm. no one would believe us because, you know, you are young. What can you do? Mm. You needed to have papers and mm. then we'll be locked out because of, you know, experience. Yeah. Welcome. This is Dialogue at the Well. We come to you every Saturday at 6 p.m. And this is Wema TV. I'm your host, Adwiga Prince, and we are back again. It's another wonderful Saturday. And I want to tell you and I promise you today, we got an amazing guest that is going to engage you on matters of uh, the young people. And before we get to our topic, I want to give her a wonderful opportunity to introduce herself as we get rolling. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Mokami Daina. Mm -hmm. I like starting with Mukami because I think that's the one people will remember. <laughs> Daina Kidogo in a confused one. Mukami. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I have worked with young people for a very long time, ever mm -hmm. since well, I was 17 years old. Oh. Um, yeah, I've had ups and downs and a lot of experiences. Um, I still face them in adulthood, but. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I have a lot to, you know, uh, share with the young people. Well, yes. thank you very much and welcome. And uh, we appreciate for honoring our invitation today. Um, in Dialogue at the Well, um, actually our, our, our show is based on John chapter number four, verse four, where there's a, a conversation that takes place between uh, Jesus and another great woman over there. And this conversation that was uh, between Jesus and uh, the woman that is called the Samaritan woman because she comes from Samaria, mm -hmm. uh, the word of God says that um, that conversation actually brought about uh, a lot of change in uh, this lady or a great impact in the life of this lady. And uh, she becomes a great crusader, a great evangelist of the word of God. So uh, basically she brought um, a, a lot of impact was brought in her life and uh, the lives of other people. So this Samaritan woman or this conversation, this is where uh, we usually get um, inspiration uh, to our show uh, from. Um, but and basically we deal with young people. And in our show today, um, there are so many things that happen in the lives of young people and so many uh, issues that are experienced in the lives of young people. And basically we major on um, helping the young people to be able to make the right decision, helping the young people to be able to uh, move in the right direction. And uh, uh, today, or in our, in our show today, I want us to deal or to talk more about uh, uh, the pitfalls, the challenges, and the mistakes that young people make. Because uh, we have realized that uh, there are so many uh, challenges, there are so many um, assigned moments, there are so many hazards. Someone calls them hazards, and another one calls them risks that young people are, are getting involved in, True. and uh, so many mistakes that they are making. And uh, before we get uh, so much into this, I will just wish to get uh, a simple definition. You having been a young uh, person or being still a young person, there are so many issues, there are so many things that you have experienced uh, with young people. And having been a youth leader, there are also mistakes that you have done, there are so many things that you have experienced as a young people. Now, I wish to get it from you. What is basically your definition for a young person <laughs> or a youth? That's an interesting starting point. Uh, um, I think I will define a young, a young person from mm. how it's defined in the constitution. You right. know, anybody between the age of 18 to 35. Uh -huh. 
UN also have their own definition. Mm -hmm. It's usually between, if I'm not wrong, between the age of 15 to 24. Mm -hmm. Now, interestingly, <laughs> even the political circles have uh -huh. their own kind of definition of mm -hmm. who a young person is. Mm -hmm. So it's weird enough that even a 60-year-old <laughs> refers to themselves as, as a young people, mm -hmm. young at heart, to try and justify or to try to relate to young people. But I would more or less focus on probably the age of 15 mm -hmm. to 35, especially in today's world that you are living in. Uh, I love the political one, although we may not dwell much in uh, the political one, yes. uh, because, uh, okay, most of them will talk about, uh, you know, I'm young at heart, you know, yeah. I love young people. True. And uh, why they usually do this, or why the, our politicians or other our leaders are doing this is because they have a lot of interest in the young um, in the young people and the interest is not based much on uh, helping them but True. getting an advantage from them True. and uh, why they usually uh, do this is also so that they can be able to show a lot of motivation and show that they have a lot of energy because the young people are associated with energy. So the moment you mention that uh, I'm a young person, you feel that, uh, you know, I'm strong enough, I can be able true. to venture in so many other uh, things that are true. happening That's out true. there. But now let's talk about uh, these people that are, are truthfully <laughs> young, young. <laughs> uh, constitutionally, <laughs> religiously, emotionally. Yes. Um, and even physically, you know, you mm -hmm. are strong and you are still a young person and you feel that I'm, I'm young. Um, now, there are so many uh, challenges, as we, we mentioned, and I wish, I wish that uh, we start engaging on, um, on the point of um, the young people are the challenges that they are going through. There are so many challenges that um, our young people that are going through and they are not able to, uh, to deal with. And having sure. been sure. involved as a, as a young person, as a leader, I would wish that um, or probably you can point out, okay, there are so many of them, millions, especially um, if you are going to deal with the different places or different areas in our society. Yeah. Now, which are some of uh, the challenges that uh, you as a person and uh, from the young people that you interact with, you feel that they are going through? Okay. Um, probably I will start with some of uh, some some of the challenges, not all, because mm -hmm. the list is very long. Yeah. That uh, myself of my age mates have faced or mm -hmm. used, you know have faced previously in a few years back. Because now we are talking about a new century where we have millennials Days are changing. and Gen Days are changing. Z. Uh -huh. Exactly, because you know back in the day. Um, you needed to have papers and mm. then we'll be locked out because of, you know, experience. Yeah. Uh, of course, we are business oriented, but mm. no one would believe us because, you know, you are young. What can you do? Mm. Um, others will be like, um, uh, we would be seen as violent people. And mm. I never understood why yeah. that when you find a group of young people, even if they're discussing, you know, sports, mm. Arsenal mm. versus Manchester. Yeah. You know, our older parents might think maybe we are plotting mm. something violent, or mm. those are thugs, or those are, you know, <laughs> so because even the perception yeah. worked so much against us. Yeah. Currently, mm -hmm. uh, I think, and I'm, I'm going to use this uh, term lightly uh, online platforms mm. are advantageous and disadvantageous to yeah. young people. And I'm gonna stick to the disadvantages part of it because yeah. they outweigh the uh, the advantage. Mm. So most of young people are stuck on social media, stuck on TikTok. They're trying to, you know, dress and look uh, like you know international stars, mm. and they realize that they do not have money, so they have to engage in illegal ways to uh, find money. So I'm gonna blame the social platforms that we have. And the mm. lack of control of it is one of the challenges that uh, the current young people actually do face. Mm -hmm. um, others would be maybe parental guidance, because I'm not a parent myself. But I think yes, if, yes, yes. yeah, but I think if my parents did a bad job, I don't mm. think I would even be seated here. Yeah. But you see, parents of today, and I'm not I think they are doing their best, mm. but I think some of them just don't care about the welfare of young people, of mm. their children. Yeah. So they do not know what they did during the day. 
um, they don't check the homework, they don't, you know, maybe look at the phones because maybe they are too busy. Okay, it's still know? on that, on um, the issue of uh, parenting. Uh, there's another mm -hmm. day that I, I hand a parent and the parent says that the problem is not uh, with them. The problem is uh, with these young people because they seem to know too much. They have explored <laughs> too much. They are so empowered. They have a lot of information. So the parents that uh, are probably we talk about as being, the, 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 okay, they, 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 they are old enough. Eh? There is nothing that they will have for these young people. So don't you feel that uh, the problem could still be with the young people and not with the parenting? Um, I want to recognize how difficult it is to raise children at this era, yes, yes, at this yes. age. It really is very difficult mm -hmm. because, yeah, children have a lot of information uh, and they have a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. from wrong places, but still is the fact that they have a lot of information and it's driving parents crazy that they cannot be able to, you know, control that. Mm -hmm. But um, it depends with how you look at it. It could be the fault of young people mm -hmm. or the fault of the parent. But, you know, um, from when the child is born and starts recognizing and addressing yeah. issues and knowing this is bad and this is good, mm -hmm. I think the parenting itself begins from that particular point. Yeah. But now... Uh, Standard five pupil, I think that's grade six, seven, six, I don't know. Mm, yeah. You know, has a phone. Mm. I, I mean, when was the, when did you get a phone? <laughs> you know, in I our think days. High school. Yes, in our after days. After you course. finished mm. high school. Mm. You know, and the online platforms were there. It's not like they were not. Uh, 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 do you know, um, Diana, we are talking about um, young people that mm. will tell you today. Mm. that you have been given an assignment that I need mm. to research from my phone. Do they have to research from their phone? Um, that is, they need <laughs> to get it from the internet. Yeah, um, they do that. Mm -hmm. Also, when I'm doing my own research from yeah. skill set exams that I like doing, of course I have to research from the internet, mm -hmm. yes. But it's researching and understanding and comprehending what they are researching. But my problem would be if you fall on the wrong sites yeah. that you're not supposed to to check. So it's yeah. important as a parent to have some kind of uh, control and also uh, get to know what mm. these young people are doing. Yeah, but you see also the parents can do so much mm. because as long as you've uh, surpassed the 18 years of age, the parents can barely do, you know, 100% because yeah. most of the times you're not, as a young person, you're not in that house, mm -hmm. okay? They will always be worried. Yeah. But then the young people need to be responsible mm -hmm. of their lives yeah. as well. You mm -hmm. know, um, what you do mm -hmm. affects you currently, and mm -hmm. if it does not affect you, yes. it will affect you as you grow mm -hmm. older. So that is an issue. Uh -huh. But they have to put in the work as well, not only parents. They mm -hmm. themselves have to put in the work. But they're, currently, they're not doing so. We have possibly. young people that are in um, that are out of school, out of campus, out of colleges, the middle of colleges and uh, the others. Eh? Mm -hmm. What do you think are some of the issues that uh, they are facing today that uh, we can help them to deal with? Um, Unemployment. Unemployment. I think that is a one huge issue. Mm -hmm. Unemployment is one huge issue. Yeah. And even if we have, um, there's one, this, this thing that the government is doing. I think mm -hmm. each and every department uh, in government has a program whereby they incorporate uh, those guys that have, those students that have finished a degree and then they will call them for internship. Yeah. If you're lucky, you're absorbed, but as long as your internship is done, you know, you leave. Mm -hmm. And some of them, they leave and they do not know what they need to do. So I think unemployment is one issue. Yeah. I want to, first of all, appreciate the young people mm -hmm. that have uh, doing small hustles here mm -hmm. and there to try and get some money legally. Mm -hmm. Okay? Legally. Because I know there are a lot of illegal activities going on, mm -hmm. but legally. But most of young people are really mm -hmm. trying you know, and you're in Nairobi, you're working very hard because you've come to Nairobi, your parents think, you know, siako Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Siata nitumia pesa. 
you know, then you now, start paying the now black still tax. on still on still on uh, the, the 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 unemployment. Eh? Mm. Um, there are so many people that are graduating every day from our sure. colleges and universities. Eh? Yes. But you realize that mm. after graduating, after coming out of um, our schools and colleges, mm. these people don't have the necessary skills to do what they studied back in campus. And then secondly, some of them don't have the necessary entrepreneurial skills that you can be able to engage in other things. You can be able to do uh, some business. Um, now, still on this uh, unemployment, um, is there something to blame on the courses <laughs> that people are taking? Um, it's interesting you raised that issue because I was in a board meeting yeah. uh, on Saturday. And um, one of the board members, he, she is a doctor, mm -hmm. actually. She mentioned that there are courses you need to ensure that you've passed very well mm -hmm. for you to do particular course. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, clinical courses. Yeah. Mathematics, you need to... Mathematics and physics and chemistry and biology, those ones you need to have done very well, mm -hmm. okay? For you to even enroll into... Um, the courses that you need to do. Yeah. So there is an urgent need of uh, maybe students to want to know what it is that they want, um, maybe to study, even yeah. if they have like one, two, even if they like f have four or five choices, mm -hmm. so that then they look at the kind of, uh, they work towards getting those particular grades so that they can get to uh, campus. Mm -hmm universities or colleges, and be able to study for those particular courses. So grading could mm. be very, very important in terms of, you know, what you get yeah. uh, part of that. So that is actually up to the teachers. You need to guide them, yeah. okay? But also the students need to learn. Then I'm, the students, I mean the team, yeah. because they need to learn. But then when you get to campus, by the time you're in third year, and this is something I regret I should have done, mm -hmm. but since I was unable to do, I'm advising everybody. By yes, the time you get you, to yeah, yes, yes, by the mm -hmm. time you get to third year, please be clear. Mm -hmm. Start putting your ducks in a row, I would mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. What it is that you want to do once you leave campus. Yeah. So that once you leave, you're not clueless. You're not like, okay. Um, I've finished campus now, so what do I do? Mm -hmm. So you're not confused. Uh, because once you get confused, perhaps happened or she didn't answer. Uh -huh. You start looking for a job for whatever it is that you did in campus. Mm -hmm. But now you need to start pre-planning mm -hmm. before you leave. That's why many universities, I think, uh, once you get to third year, you, you know, they have an option of where, what do you want yeah. to major on. Mm -hmm. So that after you're done with that, you can continue. There's nothing that stops you from working while you're at school. Mm -hmm. You're still young. I don't understand why you have to sleep nine hours. Mm -hmm. I don't. You know, my mom can sleep nine hours. You're a young person. Mm -hmm. No, you cannot, sir. Yeah. Sleep nine hours. So you have to divide. You have to manage your time. So you work towards that. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you want to get into the industry of PR, I've mm. been creative myself. So yeah. if you want to start shooting films, you start while you're in third year. You yeah. start. You don't start doing projects like it's class presentation you're going to present. No, you start doing them in such a way that you can present the same mm -hmm. to um, to the to the various platforms that are set aside for that. So you start early, you manage your time properly so that by the time you graduate, you exactly know mm. what it is that you actually want to do. The other challenge maybe I would bring into account so that you achieve that yeah. is, I don't know, uh, maybe, and this is probably to, get to the boys section, mm. the guys, yeah. courage, you know, being courageous, being aggressive, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, taking no for an answer, not taking no for an answer, yeah. Things like uh, negotiation skills, you don't, you never, don't be content. Mm -hmm. If you're not, if I was having a conversation with you and you still have questions, ask. Mm -hmm. If you are in class, you did not understand a particular concept, yeah. ask. Don't let the teacher, he's paid to teach you or she's paid to teach you. So don't let the teacher sleep mm -hmm. because you did not understand an issue. So being if aggressive you want it, enough. Yes, you mm -hmm. have to be aggressive enough. Mm -hmm. 
the world is has a one pie wanasema wana, kujituma lazima ujitume lazima ujitume lazima ujitume mm. and ukijituma you have to be unique yeah. when i got into employment mm. um i realized that when i got in every single person there has a degree mhm watu wamesoma in fact they have better degrees than me <laughs> well i know mine is good thank you uh, god i really wanted to go and study uh, what i really wanted mm-hmm. but you know you sit down you realize somebody has a degree in bcom mm-hmm. you na know, masters na mko nao pale yeah somebody had masters in law mm-hmm. in fact uh degrees in bcom somebody's an engineer somebody's mm-hmm. you know <laughs> and we all doing the same job because mm-hmm. you know we have to pay rent yeah. and we all have to you know we are paid the same actually mm-hmm. we are all paid the same same level same but at that particular point mm-hmm. what do you do because you have to stand out mm-hmm. you have to be unique for you to stand out that is the world If you so take young people become, must be unique in yes. any whatever area you are involved in at least what, you are unique yes, in what yes. you are doing if you want to be an engineer in a certain aspect yeah. there are a lot of engineers mm. probably in that particular aspect uh-huh. but you need to stand out you need to do something that other people are not doing mm-hmm. for you to be known and recognized and you have to keep pushing giving up is not an option yeah. my parents didn't give up when they were raising us so why yeah. give up Mm-hmm. why give up yes being unique you know uh, <laughs> being aggressive enough now uh, in the respect of time i want you to uh, mention about um, something about um, okay i've heard you mention previously about the mistakes now the young people are making because i've realized that somebody will who graduate i mean toka kambas akopale but um, they feel that uh, It's not the time to invest. Yeah, ni kijana mdogo, akona time, unaona? Ata invest wakati atapata mtu. You see? So ile kasarari kidogo analipwa like 10,000 or 15,000. Anakula yote na marafiki zake na kubet. Unajua siku hizi ya so so much into into betting. So anafanya tu anashughulikia inaisha. Which are some of I would wish like you can mention one or two mistakes that you feel they are very common amongst our young people. Ah I would classify those in two yeah. because there are some young people who are already employed meaning they have flow of income mm-hmm. and there are some that are not employed but they have businesses mm-hmm. so those are focused on business so when it comes to investment even if you have flow of profit mm-hmm. don't use up all your profit um going out with friends although there's nothing wrong with going out with friends mm-hmm. but budget for that yeah but there's nothing wrong you you don't wait until your 40 years mm-hmm. to at invest nikifika 40 that's when I'll start investing mm-hmm. no no sir you start now mm-hmm. so that in 10 years that would have grown to be a huge profit yeah. there are a lot of uh, investment platforms that young people can engage in mm-hmm. these investment platforms let us not leave them to you know our older our parents our older people no sir mm. so there are you do research there you can invest in you can save your money or invest in what circles, is what is market, um, um, all those platforms what is the best time to invest now oh the, the best time to invest is, yes, is now that profit uh-huh. um as long as you're not addicted to betting yeah better away mm-hmm. as long as you're not addicted to it but if you make a profit of let's say 2500 shillings mm-hmm. that 500 invest mm-hmm. and first uh, put it somewhere that will bring investments towards you okay We, and uh-huh. if that is for the people maybe that are doing businesses because you know you would look at profit and you try to maximize your profit and what you're paying yourself mm-hmm. or you're paying yourself probably slash it in half and invest mm-hmm. those people that are employed you know they will relax because there's a flow of income yeah. so they are like you know as long as i'm employed i won't get fired mm-hmm. so you know you have fun away until when you get to 35 you don't have a husband you don't have a husband or a mm-hmm. wife mm-hmm. you still living in a rental apartment mm-hmm. you have nothing so that is a problem so even those people you need to invest now the mm-hmm. time is now so that by the time you are 40 mm-hmm. these investments have really that's like 10 years so patience also is a is a key thing that people need to learn or rather young people need to learn so by the time you are 40 years uh-huh. you're good 
as investments we, have grown. As you talk about the investment and, um, yeah. and time, and you're saying that it is, it is now, not uh, now. starting preparing tomorrow. Yes. You, it, it is now for the young people. And that's a um, myth mm-hmm. they should not listen. Yeah. Because I hear that's a lot of myth that goes around and people are like, it's like a back in the day myth that we, mm-hmm. always, he, we always had that, yeah. you know, when you get to 30, that's when you start investing. No, yeah. no, 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 no. In fact, if you're 23 and you go to school and you have that Instagram business of selling, you know, Nike shoes or whatever it mm-hmm. is you're selling, your profits, please put them back to gain more profit. Now, as as we wind up, I would wish that... Um... I would request you also mention something on, um, we are in a political season. It's mm-hmm. a political season. And um, most of the people that are being used are the young people. people. And I'm using the term being used. And uh, the reason why the young people are being used is because they have no money. They have no job. They have So it's an opportunity. So mwanasiasa akipatikana pale, anapeana kamia, munakimbia. Akiwambia anakupatia miambidi, uende ufanya kitu flani, you don't even think because you're being controlled by what they are offering. Now there's, there are so many pitfalls or rather the risks that are, they, our young people are involved in. I would wish to request that if you can mention something like that, okay, which are some of the risks that our young people are involved in and how can they deal with that? Well, prison, for instance, mm-hmm. because the, the look at it this way. Mm-hmm. The children, whose children are going to vandalize and hurl insults at mm-hmm. other, you know, candidates and they maybe do other illegal things. Mm-hmm. Those are not rich people's children. Those are poor people's children, yeah. right? Yes. So risk number one, probably prison, because when you're caught, nobody mm-hmm. will listen to you because yeah. the is influential. So you will go to prison. Exactly. So mm-hmm. death will be number two. And number three, this politician won't do nothing for you. Bulisha malizana na yeye, jali kupateyo miambili miatatu. You know? So this is how young people stand to benefit. Mm-hmm. And I have seen it work because I am part of part and parcel of how I saw a lot of people a lot of young people engage yeah. in uh, safe spaces, form groups, and it took some of them, even they got nominated in parliament. Young people have to come to them. Unity. So mm. that then you front, you have a discussion with these people. So you come together as young people, even if it's not an organization, you just say, we, we are young people. Mm. We want one, two, three, four things. Yeah. Can you give us that? If not, please walk. Because the politicians need us more mm-hmm. okay that it's they we don't need them uh, they need us because yeah. they need us our vote so we need to stop taking the war on the street i know it's very difficult because we don't have money we don't have or we, we are not uh, you know employed but this is someone who will go to parliament to make laws that will affect us this yeah. is a governor who will run this count the county that is going to affect us. Mm-hmm. So then we'll have to sit down and see how me as a young person or 200 of us are going to impact, you know, or be involved. So mm-hmm. we have to come together as a, as a group of young people in an orderly manner and we dialogue. So you want this position, right? What do you have for young people? No, sir, no, madam, this is not practical. Mumetwambia easy vitu for a very long time. Yeah. So this is what we want because they are assuming this is what we want. So um so we lay it on the ground. But don't go people. on the streets mm. to insult, to pull I don't know, people's uh, posters, mm. those posters cost money because mm. that, that's also an election offense. Mm. Yeah, uh, hardly insult mm. for someone. Mm. Why? What so, are you gaining for that? The, 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 the young people uh, should be great ambassadors of peace. Yes. And they should work together as, as teams in what... And that is a, actually an implementation of our values. So, because in the respect of time... Also, I, unity. Mm, unity of young people unity, is, yeah. is very important. Yeah. Because if you don't have unity, mm. what will happen is that one group will go... And then the, the other one will go to meet the other person and then they will still be bought. So there right. has to be one agenda of what it is that they actually want. You got it from 
Mukami Diner. Um, just as we sum up, I'm just going to uh, request that you do your parting shot uh, so that we can conclude. Our directors are instructing me that the time is spent. Yes. What I would like to tell the young people of this country is that um, have some nuggets in your life or have some currencies, I call them currencies, in your life that can be of assistance to you. Excuses will not help you. Things that you do for other people without nothing in return it will not help you. So one, build on your skills. Um, there are a lot of online courses that you can make. Invest. Uh, have knowledge. Read and understand. Let's use Google to on the right uh, on the right si sites. Read and understand and have knowledge. Have information. And let's first of all and always dialogue instead of choosing violence. Dialogue is the best way to go. If you're not uh, content with someone else's um, agreement or whatever it is that they are preaching, you're, uh, you're free to walk and engage with someone who can be able to listen to you. So dialogue, um, uh, uh, empower yourself with various skills that can be able to help you learn to negotiate with people, uh, be aggressive and courageous and invest now. Now is the right time to invest. Don't wait for you know, other years when you're already old and you can barely move. So that is what I have for young people of this country. All right, you hand it all from Mukami Daina, a youth leader and uh, she has interacted with young people at different platforms and different areas. And uh, she got a lot of information about young people. And um, I captured or I got uh, that young people, the time to start is now. The time to make the change is now. The time to invest is now. The time to focus is now. The time to, you know, to learn is now. Don't wait for tomorrow. You're saying that I'm still young, you know, I'm only 20, I'm only 21. She says that the time to start is now. So get started, get moving. You want your lives changed. By the time you are 40, unaanza kuandika kitabu hile wanasema, retiring at 40. Yani at 40, we unaandika kitabu, unasema, retiring at 40. Because you have achieved quite much within a very short period of time. Uzingoje kuandika kitabu at 78, hapana kuandika ni sasa. Na amesema be aggressive enough. Kunjituma, acha kungojea huko. Watu wamesoma, watu wako na pesa, watu wako na mambiashara. So the time to start is now. Na you be aggressive and unique young people. That is all we need and we want we can cause a difference, we can make a change in our times and we can change a generation in our times. Thanks so much. This has been Dialogue at the Well and we come to you every Saturday at 6 p.m. Uh, stay tuned and it has always been a great pleasure to keep interacting and bringing you along this amazing conversation. Thanks so much. See you on Saturday at 6 p.m. again. God bless you.